everyone, welcome to Yoga with Donna. I hope everybody's good. Today we're going to be doing a yoga practice for opening your hips. So this practice can be a little bit challenging, but just do as much as you can and you might come back to it at another time and find that you can get through the whole practice. So let's get started. So coming with, um, sitting on your heels, so you can put a cushion underneath your sit bones and sit back on your heels that way or you can put a cushion out in front of you underneath your forehead. We're going to stay here for a few breaths. So just knees as wide as your mat. If you're finding that a little bit challenging, just bring your knees in a little bit closer, makes it easier. So coming forward, stretching forward, lower your forehead. Deep, long breath. Really breathing into your hips. Getting them nice and warmed up, ready to start. your belly down towards the mat. When you're ready, pressing the hands, coming up onto your knees. Hands just out in front of your shoulders. I'm going to do a couple of hip circles. So coming forward as much as you can and then back towards your heels. Just whatever makes your hips feel nice and comfortable and working into them slightly. You circle around, whichever way you feel you need to go to loosen everything up. You can come right forward if you feel like you'd like to. And a couple more. And then bring your knees hip width apart right underneath your hips. Take your left foot forward between your hands into a low lunge. Bring your hands up onto your fingertips, chest coming forward, shoulders back as much as you can and hold it here. We're really stretching out that psoas muscle in that right hip. So we're coming forward here. If you're finding a little bit hard with that knee, you can always put a blanket underneath that knee. Deep breath here. And then pulling back with that right leg. Coming to lifting off that left foot off the mat onto the heel, coming forward into a half split. And coming forward, rocking forward, stretching forward, and back. And you try and pull this left hip back into the socket so your hips are quite square. And one more time forward and coming back and coming forward, feel the toes of the right foot under, stretching out into a high lunge, coming up, putting your hands on your thighs, pulling up nice and tall, push off the back foot, coming forward, breathing in. Breathing out, coming forward into ragdoll, holding your elbows if you feel like it, drop your head in between your hands or your arms. And just take a couple of deep breaths here. And when you're ready, let go of your elbows, slowly roll up. And coming to stepping to the side of the, or the front of the mat, toes out to the side, a little bit wider than hip width, bring your arms up, palms facing each other, then bend, knees going out to the side and straighten and bend and straighten 
bend, knees going right out to the side, then straighten, again bend, straighten, and bend, and hold it here in goddess pose. Bring your hands into your sternum if you feel like it. Hold it here. Really go further down if you can to get into those hips. And when you're ready, extend up. Turn your toes so they're parallel and a little bit wider. And place your hands on your hips. Slowly hinge forward from your hips, keeping your knees as straight as you can. And coming forward as far as you can over your legs. Just wherever you can on the mat. A deep breath. And when you're ready, bend your knees. Turn your left foot out. Take your right leg up on the heel and just come over to the side. Really stretch out through this hip and sit up as tall as you can on that, on that left leg. And then when you're ready, come across as low as you can to the other side. And lift up that heel right up tall. So you should feel the stretch right through the inner thigh there. And then coming across. When you're ready and turning, coming into downward facing dog, stepping forward with your right leg into low lunge, really pulling forward, really stretching out that left, left hip. Toes coming off the floor, coming forward into half split. Try and level up your hips. Coming forward. Shoulders back as much as you can. And come back. Coming forward. Last time. To low lunge, high lunge, push off the back foot, coming into forward fold, feet up with the plat, hold on to your elbows into ragdoll. Holding it for a moment. And coming back up, slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Turning to face the side, arms down, and bend, and back up, goddess pose, knees right out to the side, coming back up, toes relaxed on the mat, Time, we'll hold it, bring your hands into your front of your heart, hold it here. Try and go down as low as you can. Deep breath. And then when you're ready, coming up, turn your feet into parallel, a little bit wider than you had them. Take your hands onto your hips. Gently come forward over your legs as far as you can down towards the mat. Deep breath here. Turn your foot out, coming over to the side. And lunge, turned out lunge to the other side. Up as high as you can on your front fingers. And across. Coming up. Turn your 
the toes and under. And then slowly bend. Come in now very gently. And turning to face the front, coming down towards the mat. And we're coming into a reclined twist. So lying back down along your mat. Stretch out your left leg long along the mat and bring your right leg in and bring it across your body, keeping your right arm stretched out to the side along the mat. And just keep your eyes looking up towards the ceiling, so don't turn your head to the side, just keep it nice and relaxed. A few deep breaths. Pull it in towards your chest and then relax it out along your mat. Other side, bending in your left leg. Take your arm out to the side. Bring it across your body, looking straight up to the ceiling. You can hold, keep holding on to that knee to just give it that little bit more of a stretch if you feel you want to. And when you're ready, bring it back to centre, hug your knee in, and stretch your legs out along the mat, get comfortable for Shavasana. So palms facing up to the ceiling, nice and relaxed. Shoulders gliding down your back. Hips nicely relaxed. See how they feel? Maybe you feel like you've stretched out the front of your hips, the side of your hips. Relax the tongue in your mouth. Relax your jaw and your neck. You can stay here if you like, if you've got more time. Otherwise, those of you who need to get moving and off the mat, just take your arms up, stretch your fingers right out, stretch your toes. And then roll over to the right side. Push yourself up with your hands. Coming up to easy pose. Deep breath out. Hands into your heart space. Close your eyes for a moment. If you like to bring your hands to your forehead. And namaste. Thank you everyone for joining me here today on the mat. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. And I hope to see you on the mat again soon. Bye.